What's up, guys? Faruqi Bros here. And today we're going to be doing our 2023 Oscar predictions. Uh, the Oscars will be playing this weekend, so we want you to uh, kind of follow along with us. We're going to do the format we did last year. And if you guys don't remember how we did it, basically, the challenge here is that we all have to agree on one ballot. So majority wins. We're all going to do a quick debate on each topic, uh, on each uh, candidacy, and then whatever wins, wins, and that's going to be our can uh, ballot as a group. So let's get right into it. I'm going to share my screen. So you guys can see here we got the 2023 Oscar ballot, um, and we're just going to go down the list. I think we'll just work through it. Each of us will give our quick thoughts, and then in the end we'll just decide on who's going to be um, – uh, the choice. I will say that yes, I did make my uh, list public for my critics' choice um, ballot, but this list does. I don't have to necessarily abide by my critics' choice list. I'm doing it as fresh, uh, with new information, with rewatches, etc. So no need to check back and forth my critics' choice. I'm just gonna go kind of free flow with um, my Oscar ballot. So let's start with one of the biggest topics. It's gonna be actor in a leading role. Um, obviously, we got some heavy hitters between Austin Butler for Elvis, Colin Farrell for Banshees and Intern, uh, Brendan Fraser, Paul Mescal, and Bill Nye. Um, And we'll give a quick thought. I don't know if Shuri goes down first. Yeah, what about you? Which is the one, you know, like for best actor in a leading role? In my opinion, it could be any of the top three. I feel like there's like a small chance Brendan Fraser can just somehow steal the Oscar and just like run away with it. But um, me personally, I think the most chances for Austin Butler to get it. I mean, he would be very deserving. He did just go all out in his performance as Elvis and you really believe the character that he was playing. So in my opinion, I would say he would be the one to get the Oscar. Though if Colin Farrell gets it, I would be very, um, I would be happy for that too. Samir, what about you? Like Zion thinking Austin Butler or Colin Farrell, where do you stand on this one? Uh, I'd also lean towards Austin Butler. I think he went so all out that he couldn't even drop the accent yeah. in his daily life. So he'll probably uh, probably be ahead of the rest. Uh, yeah, no, no. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think based on like the track record, Golden Globes, it was Austin Butler. Critics' Choice, Austin Butler. And oh, uh, Critics' Choice, it was Brendan Fraser. Uh, Colin Farrell won alongside Austin Butler, but because Golden Globes are half drama, half comedy. But Os but Oscars in the end has one award for Best Actor, and I'm going to be leading with you guys. I do think Austin Butler. So we'll go three out of three. I'm just going to mark, notate this one uh, right there. So we're going with Austin Butler for actor and leading role. Pretty unanimous, though. We both think Colin Farrell and Brian Frazier deserve some love as well. Um, are we going uh, sideways, or do you want to go up and down? you want to go sideways? Whatever. I I up and down is the more right way. But you can go Fine, we'll go up and down. So for actor in a supporting role, we got Brendan Gleeson, Brian Tyre Henry, uh, Judd Hirsch, Barry, or Barry Keegan, and Ki Hui Kwan. So I think I'll go first now. Like We'll just go back and forth and change our order each time. I think this is going to be Runaway Ki, uh, Ki Hui Kwan. He's just been uh, – it's been a sweep, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's won every single award show. So I think we're all going to be on the same page here. But – for everything ever all at once, I think he did a spectacular job. He really revived his career, and all of his interviews he's been giving has really been showing that he's like very humble about it. I think this is going to be a clean sweep. Samir, what about you? I know everything everywhere is big on your list in general. Definitely, so. definitely a sweep. He deserves it. The goat. Sian, are you all in agreement? Yeah, I agree. It'll be a unanimous decision between us. I think he. Yeah, I will he say Brandon did, really did a good job though. though. Brandon Gleeson did a good job though in Banshees, but and so did um, Barry Keegan. So, yeah, so did Barry Keegan, yeah. So, but, yeah, I agree with you guys. Um, we'll go with Kihei Kwan for actor in a supporting role. Uh, let's keep moving down the list. We got actress in a lead role uh, between Kate Blanchett, Anna de Armas, Andrea Risenborough, Michelle Williams, and Michelle Yu um, for everything everywhere. This is interesting, but I think it's really between two. I think this is some. This is between Kate Blanchett and Michelle Yu. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go with you this one to start us off. Where are you leaning? Personally, I'll say Michelle Yeoh should deserve, like she deserves the Oscar for her performance. But I, I have this, you know, sneaking feeling that they're going to give it to Kate Blanchett because I don't think Tar would get anything else in any other category. Maybe best music or something. I don't know. But I wouldn't be surprised to give it to her, but I would want Michelle Yeoh to get the Oscar. Samir, where do you stand on it? I love everything everywhere all at once, but 
Kate Blanchett was so good in Tar uh, that I think she deserves it over Michelle Yeoh, even though it, it's pretty close. Uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind either of them winning, but I think Clay, Kate Blanchett. Sam, which one did you actually decide? I know you said you gave one you wanted, but which was your actual choice? I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Michelle Yeoh's gonna win. All right, well, let's switch I'm up. gonna, I'll break the tie here, and I actually with Samir. I think the Os- Kate Blanchett and Oscar feels like. I don't want to say pretentious, but she did a very great job. But it's the kind of performance that the Oscars are made for. And I think um, they're the people who are voting are going to be looking at Tar and they're going to be like, that's the one. So I'm going to um, go with Kate Blanchett and break the tie between you two. Uh, actress in a supporting role. Uh, like uh, actress in a supporting role, this has been pretty much a clean sweep. Um, between Ange- Angel Bassett has just been sweeping the entire award show for her performance as uh, Queen Rwanda for um, Black Panther. So... Um, I think we're all in agreement here, but I would say Angela Bassett, Samir Zian, what about you? I'd agree with that. Angela Bassett, yeah. Probably the yeah. one. Yeah, I, think, I think this is going to be one of those, like, it just, she just has it in the bag. All right, animated feature film. You know, I'm a big sucker for animation. I love animation. And this was an interesting year. I think all these movies have something going for them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we got Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel Deschel with shoes on. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, The Sea Beast, and Turning Red. Um, I, if Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio did not come out, I would say this is a much more interesting conversation between Marcel and Puss in Boots. But I think Pinocchio is just one step ahead of everything, so I'm going with Pinocchio. Zian, what about you? Same. If Pinocchio doesn't win, it'll be a travesty. I agree. All right, so we're, we're, we're giving it to Pinocchio. All right, we're going to move on to cinematography now. Uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, Bardo, Elvis, Empire of Light, and Tar. Um, I'm personally going to kick us off here. I'm going to go with Elvis. Um, I don't know if this is interesting. I don't know if Elvis should get it for editing or for cinematography, but I thought that they did a really good job blending different eras and different decades together. And So I'm going with Elvis. Uh, Samir, I'm going to go to you next. What is speaking out to you on this list? I'm not sure. For some reason, I feel like they're going to give it to All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, I've seen some scenes of it. I haven't seen the movie, but cinematography was really good for it. Um, right. and Tar had great cinematography, but I, I don't think it'll win this. Uh, Zion, what about you? I, I don't think they're going to give it to Elvis, but I'll probably just throw Elvis because that's the one I know best. Yeah, I kind of want to change that pick on All Quiet on the Western Front, too. So if we're all on, I, I, I kind of agree with Samir yeah, on that. I'm going to switch up. So Zion, do you want to switch up to or not? All uh, right, yeah. I right, we're going for All Quiet on the rest Western Front. I right, costume design. Uh, we got Babylon, Black Panther, Elvis, everything, everywhere, all at once. And Miss Harris goes to Paris, which I've not heard of personally, but um, my first time hearing it. Uh, so what are we thinking here? You know, I, I, I'm i going to assume they're giving it to Elvis, but it can go either way. Everything, everywhere, had some interesting costumes here and there, too. Babylon has a very Hollywood feel, so they might give it for that. But I don't know. I'm going. I'm going Elvis with this one. Zion, what are you about you? I actually wouldn't go Elvis only because not that they did a bad job or anything, but because costume design. You just you know you have the model you're following. You're just copying what Elvis's actual costumes were and just remaking them. So I don't think that though they were good, I think it deserves to win. I think something that's unique or like new for the film would deserve. So I feel like Black Panther wouldn't be bad, but I think that. Babylon, like you said, that vintage Hollywood style and look, I think that might secure the win. All right, Samir, you're thinking... Uh, I also think Babylon is going to take it. All right, so then you two have voted me, outvoted me, so Babylon it is. All right, I'm going to leave Best Picture for the end, obviously, so let's go back up. And we're at directing now, so Mark Martin McDowell for The Banshees of Insurance, uh, Daniels, uh, The Daniels for Everything Ever All at Once, Steven Spielberg for Fablemans, Todd Field for Tar... And I hope it responds to Ruben Ausland for Triangle of Sadness. Um, so this is actually, a, this is more nuanced than I think we give credit for because Steven Spielberg has been winning a lot of awards this cycle for <clears throat> Fablemans. And it's a very personal tale where he's talking about himself. So I kind of want to lean to Spielberg for this one. Even though I don't think Fablemans will win any other awards, I think it's going to win. I think he's going to take Best Director. Um, though I would say... Both the Daniels and McDonald, Martin McDonough has a big chance, but I'm going Spielberg for this one personally. Samir, so I'm going to go to you next. What? Are, where's your mind going for directing? I want the I want Dan, I want the Daniels to win, but I think um, I think Spielberg is going to take it too. Zian, where are you standing on it? 
yeah, I think just because just the connection not even within the film, but also just as a whole story-wise directing in real life, I think Spielberg, this is like his award to win. All right, so we're all giving to Spielberg. Let's move forward to documentary. Um, I'll be honest, I have not seen any of these documentaries. So, um, and I'm not sure any of you guys have it either. I've but... only seen part of Fire of Love, but I, I don't even I don't even know. I don't even know if it's good. <laughs> so where are we standing in this one, boys? Well, you fire love them. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, there you go. Apologies to the documentary. We gotta get better on that game. A uh, documentary short subject. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know which one to go <laughs> with. Sure, it's a toss-up. <laughs> so then go go. So you may just go for one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I like yeah, how are you? <laughs> I don't know. Just go. Right, how do you measure yeah, a year? How do you measure a year? Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds how do you measure a year? Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going back to the film side of the world, so we should be uh, more ready to go. So film editing, Banshees, Elvis, Everything Everywhere, Tar, Top Gun, Maverick. So this is this is an interesting one. I kind of want to give it a Top Gun, but I feel like it won't win. It's just it makes me a biased pick for my choice. But just for the fun of it, I might just go Top Gun, wherever you guys it has to be everything everywhere all at once. The yeah. editing was just such a like peak part of that film, and it made that film just so unique. The way they edited it, it needs to be everything all, everywhere all at once. I think it was, I think it's been slept on for film editing, right? It hasn't really gotten any awards. No, it. no, it's been yeah, it's it been yeah. on here. Um, but we'll 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 give some respect on our list. You two have outvoted. I feel like movies. they put Top Gun in this just to give it that one, just for this, you know, and nothing yeah. else. Yeah. So international feature film, I was actually shocked that RRR got shut out from this nomination because it's been sweeping every other award show, but the Oscars did not give any love to that movie. So um, if Racism. I want to know what I've heard, I've heard, what I've heard the best things about is Argentina 1985, but I do think All Quiet on the Western Front is going to take it. It is the one that's kind of bleeding into other categories. So I'm going All Quiet on the Western Front. What about you guys? I do think it's between those two and... No, I probably lean towards all quiet on the Western Front. I'll just go yeah. unanimous then. All right. Now we're moving on to makeup and hairstyling. Uh, you got all quiet on the Western Front. You got the Batman. You got Black Panther. You got Elvis. And you got the Whale. So where are we got standing down? I'm gonna start with you. Where, where are you sitting on this one? Obviously, my bias would be the Batman, but I know it's not gonna win. So, in my opinion, I think Black Panther might take this. You don't think you don't think the whale in theory because the body suit thing. So. A... What what it wasn't like it was just regular makeup and hairstyle. It wasn't something like unique or special. Oh, it was all prosthetics because he didn't actually put on that weight. Like they just made him look that that. True, but still, like so you're you're going I, black. I, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, I will say black Panther. But Samir Elvis Moore. Elvis sneaks in and gets it. I wouldn't mind. Samir, what about you? Uh, I think I think Elvis would take it. Oh, yeah, then I'll go well Elvis as well. On this one, all right. Next one is music original score. So we got all choir on the Western Front, Babylon, the Banshees of Inisherin, everything ever all at once, and the Fablemans. I liked everything everywhere score. I also like the Banshees score. So I'm torn. I'll go Banshees of Inisherin. I feel like weirdly we've been snubbing a movie that we all thought was the best movie of the year last year, but it, we haven't voted for it even once. So I'm kind of thinking to. Give it to Banshees, but let me know. Don't worry, we'll, we'll have a discussion about it when we get to the most important category. All right, so then, uh, so where are you guys sitting on it? Music? I don't know. None of these scores really spoke to me now that I've heard. One I would Babylon say Banshees. Soundtrack. I heard one Babylon soundtrack and it was pretty good, but I've been, I don't know about the movie. <laughs> well, this is just a score. So, what do you, where, do you want to give it to Babylon? I'd give it to Babylon. I don't know. I don't know you said Banshees. I'll give Banshees, yeah. Because I'll I remember it. watching it. And every time they show like the backdrop of like the island in the water, the music was just so good. It, like it was such a nice sounding music. I was like, this is very peaceful and very nice. And, and it stood out to me more than like everything everywhere, all the other films. So I think Banshees would be bad. I'll give it a Banshee as well, then I'll break the tie. All right, we're moving back up and we're now at music original song. So there's applause, tell it like a woman, hold my hand, Top Gun Maverick, lift me up, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Not to, not to, R, 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 and this is life. This is a life, everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, let's just, I just want to say that uh, Chow Papa got snubbed from Pinocchio. Just throwing it out there. 
um, because it was it was on every other award show, but not this one. Um, what's gonna win? Uh, I heard Rihanna's actually performing "Lift Me Up" at the Oscars. So if there's a bias there, then I would say, and then she's already performing, so I might as well give it to her. She's already in the audience, but um, it's gonna be "Not to Not to" or "Lift Me Up." So I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of confused. It might be "Not to Not to" in the end. So I don't know what you guys think, Samira Zian. But I think I think I think they'll give it to RRR just because it was snubbed for an international film. That's a good point. Yeah, I agree too. Yeah, like the song. big the big the big musical number for the movie, and also they'll just give it to it. You know? Yeah, I'm thinking not to not to as well. All right, production design now. We got All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar: The Way of Water, Babylon, Elvis, and the Fablemans. Uh, production design. So this is interesting. It's in the comics. There's a nuance to it. Do we have visual effects on its own? What do we do? All right. So then. That's up to you guys. I would say it's Avatar or it's Babylon or Elvis. It's one of these three. I think it's Avatar. I know the the counter argument would be that oh, a lot of his VFX, but the way they did everything was just like trend setting in the industry, and they kind of like pushed the boundaries forward. And it's all encompassed under production design because you have to plan all the things out: how you're going to shoot it, how you're going to um, map out what the vehicle's supposed to be and what it looked like. I think it all plays into it, and Avatar just stands out as, like, highest of quality. So Avatar, I think, deserves to win this because of how it just pushed the Mir, do you agree with Zion's opinion, or do you have a different opinion? I don't think it'll win. I don't think Avatar will win, but uh, I guess I'll I i guess I'll just pick it. It's, <laughs> it's, a pretty, it's a pretty difficult category. They, they all have a chance to win, I think. They all, they all have a good chance, yes. I'm, I'll, I'll go with this one as well. All right, so now we're going to short film. There's the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. The Flying Sailor, Ice Merchants, um, and then a bunch of other movies. So <laughs> <laughs> I heard from the grapevine, and my grapevine is similar here, that The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse is a, a banger. Is this true? Yeah, so I just told, told, told me the world is fake. It's not going to win. <laughs> I, told you, I told you to watch it. You didn't watch it. I will watch it. Trust me. Before the Oscars, I'll watch the short film. Probably so I film. also I saw, though, the pictures of it. I saw screenshots of it. It does look fire. So I'm going with The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. Down where you share, I'll agree. All right, there you go. <laughs> all different sizes, like the marks. All right, short film live action. I don't know any of these, but there's Irish Goodbye, Evalu, Le Pupil, Night Ride, and the Red Suitcase. Le Pupil. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of thinking the Red Suitcase, but I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> um, I don't know. Didn't one of these have like Chris Ahmed in it or something. Which one? I don't remember. <laughs> Zian, what about you? <laughs> we haven't seen these short films, all right? <laughs> I have not seen. I've seen. I've heard of them. So which of your which one have you heard the best things about? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, we'll go with the red suitcase. All right then. <laughs> all right, there you go. All right, so now for sound, we're heading to the tail portion of this thing. We got All Choir on the Western Front, Avatar the Way of Water, The Batman, Elvis, Top Gun Mavericks. Sound is like sound effects, that kind of thing. Um, sound mixing, like all that's encompassed in sound. Uh, so what do you guys think like for sound? I, I think I this might be the one that Top Gun gets, but Elvis, I think, also deserves it. But I, in my, I have a gut feeling that Elvis, I mean, Top Gun's going to get this. Just for the sound of the planes and the authentic, authenticness of like being in air and what it sounds like, or the lack of sound when they're going like mock speed or whatever. So I think that might secure the win. So then I'm I'm I agree with you there. So Top Gun, all right. So Top Gun, that was that was a miss and a half, but (laughs) (laughs) there you go. (laughs) So all right. So visual effects. This is where it gets interesting too. We got All Quiet in the Western Front, Avatar, The Batman. Black Panther and Top Gun Maverick. I think this is a sweep for Avatar, but unless you guys disagree, I'm just gonna go with Avatar. Whoa. Sweep. All right. So, all right. So, Avatar, we all agree. Yeah. All right. Writing for an adapted screenplay. Um, I think it's gonna be women talking, but you guys can tell me what you think. No, you're <laughs> right. It probably will be women talking. Maybe. And Samir, I know you want a glass onion. You've said many good things about it. God, I hate glass onion. It, it might be between women talking and all quiet on the western front. So which one? Make make your decision on it. You two already voted on women talking. 
<laughs> you, can still be, you, can still, you can still be that guy and vote against it. No, I'll be um, you know. All right. Original screenplay. I think this is going to be a clean sweep for Banshees. They've been winning a lot of the writing awards, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Martin McDonough wrote and directed the movie. Um, so I'm going with Banshees. What do you guys think? I agree. Yeah, I also agree. All right. So we've done all the topics except for the big one, and that's Best Picture. So we can take a few minutes to really think about this one, though. Um, remember, just because we think a movie is the best movie of the year doesn't necessarily mean we think it's going to win the Oscar. So it's like there's a nuanced discussion here. So Best Picture your choices are All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, The Banshees of Minasharian, Elvis, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. Women Talking. So, all right, what are we thinking here? Because... This is confusing because I want listen. My we've all discussed it in our 2022 best movies of the year list. All three of us said Banshees of Inisherin was the best movie of 2022. But does that mean Banshees of Inisherin is winning Best Picture at the Oscars? So, and Oscars can tend to be a little um, unpredictable. We've seen in the past like very strange things happen, and movies that you think are going to win end up not winning, and movies that like people did not see coming um, end up taking it. Well, last year's movie was. Uh, um, Belfast, right? Like a lot of people were picking Belfast, but it 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 took best picture. So my opinion, I want to go with Banshees, but I do think in the end, the movie that's gonna end up winning no, is last year. Be... Last year was Coda. Coda, the year before is Coda, yeah. But Coda won, yeah, yeah. Coda won over Belfast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Coda. So um I'm gonna think actually I think Fablemans has a chance to just squeeze in there and take it. It kind of plays the not. sensibility of the Oscar voting, but and then everything ever all at once could just do that, you know, like Cinderella story sweep, like not sweep, but it's been winning, it's been having a sense of momentum that can carry it there. So I would say everything ever all at once, Fablemans and Banshees are your three way tie. I'm having a hard time breaking it, but I want to hear your opinions first. So Samir, where are you leaning on this one? After I saw Banshees, I I was leaning towards that, but now. I think everywhere, all, everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once, uh, should should win. I think it's I think it's the best movie of the year. Now, so I've switched up. Oh, I've switched up. Okay, switched up for real. Okay. Um, Zan, I think are you thinking- for me? My stance hasn't changed between the films. I think Banshees for me is still the better movie, just because of how unique it is and has everything about it. I will go out on a limb and say Banshees will win, just to like. Because you're right, this is like the Oscar way of things, you know, where it's like the obvious choice is not the one that's going to win. It's always something else that sneaks in. And based on the other uh, award shows, everything everywhere is the obvious choice to win the Oscar as well. Um, but I think Banshee is the, thing, is the one that's going to sneak in. Just Everything yeah, everywhere picture. has a sense of momentum because it's been winning some of the big awards leading up to... Um, the Oscars, but you never know. Like sometimes crazy things happen, and then, like next week, our Tar is gonna be winning it, and we're like, "Oh yeah, that happened." So we there's no way to know. Or like <laughs> all quiet on the space. west, yeah, or all quiet on the western front might take it too. We don't know. Um, and and I'm actually I would be very shocked and happy if somehow Avatar or Top Gun won. I don't think they will because they're too blockbustery for the Oscar I mean, crowd. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be happy if I'd be shocked. <laughs> no, I'll be happy. If <laughs> Top Gun won, it's a big thing, you know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be happy. I was like, oh, yeah, they're promoting for, you know, propaganda reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. The war propaganda we won. Yeah, oh, what about Avatar propaganda? It doesn't what about deserve it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't yeah, deserve it. Over there. Yeah, you think it's MCU movie with better graphics? <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. If an MCU movie you was written saw, better with better graphics, that's what it is. You saw Ant-Man and the Lost Quantumania, and you're like, yeah, this is okay, just okay. like... <laughs> okay, it can exist in the same vacuum, but what can be... On the bottom, I'm going to be at the top. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. So then here's the funny thing. You're Z- Ziana saying Banshees, right? Samir is saying everything everywhere. But I'm starting to become convinced that Fableman's going to win it. Only because I, I think swear Fableman does not deserve it. It does not deserve uh, it. Remember, so this is the funny thing. Are we doing a list of what we think deserves it? Or are we doing a list of what we think is going to win? And that changes everything. But for best picture, if I was doing what I think is going to win, I kind of think it would be Fableman. But if I was going to go with what we think deserves it, I would double down with Zion and go Banshees. See, I also don't think Fableman's going to win. 
I you would know. bank. I would if I was a betting man, I would say everything everywhere would win. Because sometimes, remember, we voted for best director. He said Steven Spielberg. Sometimes best director leads right into best picture. Because if you made the best movie of the year, then how come the director of the best movie of the year didn't win best director? This happens sometimes. So usually best director leads into it. So if we're seeing Steven Spielberg for best directing, it's, it's not necessarily the same. It's not necessarily the same. The best director is just like his vision came purely through and this is like what his vision was realized the right way and the way that was like just best. But that doesn't necessarily mean he had the best movie of all of them, you know? So where, where, where are we standing on it then? I think no matter... I think it, as long as it's between Banshees and everything, every other ones, I'll be I'll be happy. All right, I'll, I'll I'll be happy. Be because we're having a hard time figuring it out, I brought a special guest to figure it out with us, and it's Boo. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, he's gonna say he's gonna say Avatar is not gonna help anything. <laughs> Umar Faruqi, we're at an impasse. We did the whole Oscars ballot. We've done our ballot, but Very for good. best movie of the year, we're confused. We're all in different choices. So I want you to... <laughs> it's not even nominated. <laughs> so, so Boo, I want you to tell us like which is the one that you would go with of the best movie of the year. You know, I mean, you got Avatar, you got Banshees, you got Elvis, you got everything everywhere, you got Top Gun. So I mean, Women not a surprise, not, not not a surprise at all. I didn't watch any of the stuff. So did yeah, you watch Avatar? I thought you didn't watch Avatar. No, I, I haven't. Just, then just pick Avatar. one. Just pick one. I'll pick one. I'll pick one. Um, Avatar. <laughs> the, the trailer looked nice. So All right, so to put it on the consideration, <clears throat> Jan picked Banshees, Boo picked Avatar, I picked Fablemans, and Samir picked Everything Everywhere. We all picked different choices. Finally. <laughs> He's like, finally. But... Unfortunately, that breaks the rules of this game. The game only one can win. So we must convince one or the other to move our opinions. Because so just move your listen, opinion. if Banshees wins, then you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I was right." You know, it was the, it was the <laughs> other, the alternate choice. You know, <laughs> but I'm going with Samir then, I guess. I'm Sim- a guilt guy. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. Uh, Umar changed his vote and he wants to go double on this guy's choosing Umar. Let me give put in context, okay? You're choosing the MCU choice, which is the clear winner, the obvious, and I'm choosing the BVS where like you know it's the other film, it's different, you know, it's doing its own thing. (laughs) Okay, okay. I know for a fact Samir would never choose from the MCU, so that's why I'm going with Samir. Same like he would never do that. I meant MCU in terms of it's the popular shame. shame, So he would. Yeah. No, but I'm with Fablemans. My my choice is like he's trying to be different. Most out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just a bad choice. <laughs> so you say I've changed my choice then? Yes. Yeah. Change your choice. Yes, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm pick Top Gun then. <laughs> that's worse. That's worse. That's, than that's the worst one. I fine. I won't pick American Propaganda. Let's pick something else. I'll pick. Um, I I mean I I my best move of the year was Banshee. So I'll just double. I can double down with down and just end it. But if Samir, if Umar's picking everything everywhere, then we're back to being a two-way tie again. Oh my god, Dion just Dion would never change. So Charles, you change. No, I'm not. I actually, uh, I um, it is this might insult Samir, but for me, everything everywhere is actually aging worse, not aging better. For you, it's aged better. Like you gave it a higher score than before. For me, it's aging worse. So I don't, I don't want to give it a better score than this. Samir, for me, it's unchanging. And Banshees are just better from the beginning. I, I, I give everything everywhere five stars as well. And it's still five stars. I'm not moving down to 4.5. It's still a five-star movie. It's just a lower tier of five than the other fives. But where mm-hmm. is the Snyder Cut? <laughs> All right. So I guess... What about Boo, Ant-Man? Boo, if your opinion doesn't count, then Banshee's won. <laughs> I believe oh it was good. <laughs> if your opinion doesn't count, theory, then we go with this. This is our final pick. I don't mind. I'm, I'm going with Elvis then. All right. <laughs> hey, I don't mind Banshee's winning. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but you should you just stick with your guns. All right. It's more if it's like this. If it's like this, two for Banshees, one for Elvis, one for everything everywhere, then Banshee's won on our ranking. And that takes the prize, you know? So that being said, I will now delete all of these and then put a nice thick line for Banshees of Inner Sharon for best best picture. And that is our list. 
Is there anything we wanted to change, or are we all feeling good about all of our picks? I'm not really? feeling good about our short film one, but let me go back to our short film one. Wait, which short film? <laughs> the live action. All right, so if you could change this one, what would you change this from here? It could be Irish uh, an Irish goodbye. It could be I an Irish goodbye. I've seen the poster of each. You see, that give me enough of... insight. I feel it could be the Irish goodbye. I'm picking the Irish goodbye because all right, boo. I know you want to pick that love to pull. Pupil. Why would I? Why would I specifically want to pick because love? The word love because I was born in Montreal. Or are you being because love? Wrong? Because the word love is there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, LeBron. Uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> the Lakers Pupil. beat a team. I forgot about Ivalu Night Ride. Who did they beat? I feel like Boo has a red suitcase in his house. Lakers so beat Golden State. It's valid. <laughs> Boo, do you have a red suitcase in your house? If you do, I'm going to go with the red suitcase. I literally actually do. <laughs> I know you do. I've seen it. Everyone does. Yeah, it. No, bro, everyone everyone in Canada. No one in America has a red suitcase. Why? Why in America specifically do they not That's have so red crazy. suitcases? We don't want no red suitcases, bro. <laughs> it's nominated for an Oscar, bro. What are you talking about? Wait, what's nominated for an Oscar? The red suitcase, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the red suitcase? You, you read the description? No. It's so garbage. I right, like find an Iranian girl at the airport is scared to put her red suitcase on the walkway. What the hell? That sounds. That could no, be no, deep. but I don't know. It, 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 it sounds like, it sounds like anti-Muslim type thing. Like, oh, she's, 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 isn't it she's taking your scarf off to be isn't free. It, you know? Yeah, it's, that's what I'm getting from like the photos pro, right now. That sounds like pro. That sounds like pro-Muslim. We talking? Is that kind of garbage? Yeah, it's like, like pro-Muslim, bro. No, no, no. You hear what I said? He's saying yeah, it's like about taking off. Putting... I'm saying like, oh, she takes her scarf off to be free. No, then. Oh, is that what it is? I don't think so. It, it, that's what it looks like from the pictures. Let's go with the Irish goodbye, okay? And Irish goodbye. But it could also be the opposite. <laughs> so I don't know. Could be the yeah. could be the people. Could, it be, could the be her people. putting scum on. You know. All right, we got some. We got some breaking news. Uh, LeBron, uh, Stuart, or do you tell about his injury? Choose. Forget LeBron. Let's finish. Just choose the short film. Choose a short film. Uh, I think it's the pupils now. Yeah, I think I'm going with the pupils. I think that could also be the volume. Let's go with an Irish goodbye. And that's it. You know, I, I saw the, the poster for Irish goodbye. I don't think it's going to win anymore. All right, fine. I let's saw, give it to Ivalu. I saw the Rotten Tomato score for Le Pupil or whatever, and it was pretty high. I yeah. Le, Pupil, Le Pupil could also win Europe. because they had a very I artsy find. poster. I find Le Pupil, okay? <laughs> now we're good. We have our list, all right? What about Demon Slayer? Forget that movie. It's not on this <laughs> list. <laughs> what about AOT? Oh. All right, so that's our list for the 2023 Oscars. Let us know what your Oscar picks are and join the debate. Rate from that star. From Zayan, from Umar, and from Samir. We're the Faruqi Bros. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.